What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello. I never say that. We're gonna roll with it anyways. Roll with it anyways. Um so today I decided to do a full face, well almost full face, of ColourPop slash recreating this makeup look right here. Um and yeah. The only thing that like I didn't have was bronzer, blush, eyebrows, and foundation. Nope, and primer from them. Just four things. I know they have all those things. I just, I don't know. I, for some reason, I thought I got a blush in an Ipsy from, from ColourPop, but it was an eyeshadow. So, not, not a blush like I thought. And I thought I had a highlighter. I mean, a contour color too, and I don't, so. Anyways. So if you want to know how to get this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Also, don't mind my brows. I need to get them done. I just don't know where to go. Honestly, I might go to Benefit. Because I think at Ulta, because they have a brow thing there. Okay. So, I will say this really quickly, that I sat down and I filmed a video, like, recreating the goat look, which I'll have, <laughs> that sounds weird, I'll have a picture on the screen over here, and it was just funny because, um, I, I went yesterday to go edit it and everything, and then I realized that the outer part over here to make it darker I forgot to do that part on the left eye and only on the right and it was like very noticeable so I was like well I can't I can't upload that <laughs> so I was like oh well I'll just like sit down and re-record re it so but um like I said I just I don't want it, my channel to be like recreating looks all the time you know so we'll just I mean, if you guys really, really want to see it, let me know down below, but, because I'll do it if you guys want me to, but, yeah. Also, check the description box, because I'll have, like, a little, um, what's it called? <laughs> Just, in the description box, I'll have, like, a little information, nope. Update a little update of why I've been gone for like seven months. So, if you want to know, link in the bio. I mean, oh my god! I just, I, I, I'm convinced that they just don't want me to film right now. Like the universe, meaning. Just, just check the description box. Don't do this for seven months and you just feel out of it. Okay, anyways. Like you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna start priming my eyelids with the NAC Painterly Paint Pot with my Luxie Goodnight 110 brush. I don't know if you can get this. I think you can. I got this in an Ipsy, so I love when Ipsy gives Luxie brushes and when <laughs> I actually have two of the same brush from Luxie That I got in an Ipsy <laughs> and around. Seriously, why does it look darker over here and over here? Do I need to put a light here, but then I feel like it's gonna mess it up But we'll try it I might regret it, but we'll try it Ow! Did it do anything? Now, I don't know if it's just the lighting, because the lighting went up, or if it's that light. But we're going to leave it. <laughs> it doesn't be three hours long. I'm just going to do voiceovers instead. Okay. So 
from the shade and light palette I'm just taking the shade lyric which is like the banana color in this palette and just applying that all over my lids to set down the primer that we just applied <music> from the Zodiac palette I'm taking the shade the Taurus and I am just applying that in my crease palette again I'm taking the shade the Leo and I'm just applying that all over my lid Virgo and I'm applying that to the outer parts of my eye and working it slowly into my crease. taking my Morphe setting spray and I'm just spraying my brush with it. You guys can use Max Fix Plus. I just ran out of it at the time so I just used my Morphe setting spray. You just pretty much want to wet the brush and I'm going to go back into the shade the Leo to make it more intense. Now I'm just taking a fluffy crease brush to blend the Leo and the Virgo so there are no harsh lines. Next I am taking my ColourPop gel eyeliner in the shade Mr. Bing and I'm just applying that to my bottom waterline. Now I'm just going in with the Virgo again and I'm just going to smudge that very close to my lash line. Just taking the shade the Taurus and I'm doing the same thing that I did with the Virgo I'm just smudging it very close to my lash line next I am taking the maiden loose pigment and I'm just applying that in my inner corners and all I did was I put a little bit of the pigment in the cap and I just sprayed a little bit of the morphe setting spray and that is it now I'm just curling my lashes and for mascara, I'm going to be applying the ColourPop BFF Mascara, which the writing for some reason came off, so you can't really see what it says anymore, but that's what it is. I forgot to mention the shade is black on black. If anyone knows that song, shout out to you! <laughs> to the face I'm taking the Tatcha the silk canvas 
primer and I'm just applying that all over my face with my hands because I feel like with my fingertips it just the heat from my fingertips just blends it a lot better than opposed to using like a sponge or a brush. Next, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer just because the foundation that we're going to be using is a very matte foundation. So I used both the Tatcha and the Smashbox one to really hydrate my skin so the foundation doesn't look cakey on my skin. And the foundation that we're using is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick and the NYX Mineral Foundation Stick. And I'm mixing the two because ColourPop was a little too dark and it has more coverage than the NYX. And the NYX was a little too light for me so I mixed the two to get like my perfect shade. And yeah. Next I am taking my Christine Valmy Bell Mist Spray and I'm just applying that to my sponge and then I'm going to blend out the foundation with the sponge. I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm also taking the ColourPop and No Filter Concealer and I'm just mixing the two because the ColourPop one was a little too light for me because now the sun's coming out I got a little bit tanner but before it fit me fine so I just mixed in a little bit of the Tarte one to get the perfect shape. the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder and I'm just applying that to the areas that we applied the concealer to set the concealer. For contouring, I am taking the Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D and I'm taking the shades Shadow Play and Subconscious and I'm applying it to the hollows of my cheeks, the jawline, and the temples. Bronzer, I'm taking the Positions Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm just applying it again to the hollows of my cheeks, jawline, and the temples. I also applied a little bit under the lip to make the lip look a little bit fuller. Now for highlight, I'm taking the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade On the Cusp and I'm just using my fingers and applying it to the tops of my cheekbones. 
more blinding highlight I'm taking the cream Dilla cream by Colourpop and I'm taking the shade good as gotcha and I'm just applying that on top of my cheekbones on the brow bone and on the cupid's bow blush I'm taking my Milani baked blush in Luminoso and I'm just applying that to the apples on my cheeks. For our lips I am taking my ultra satin lip in the shade Aquarius and applying that to my lips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below of future videos and future makeup looks and things like that you guys want to see down below also don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you guys know when I upload because sometimes <laughs> I'm gone for like seven months <laughs> yeah um I'll have in the description box down below the reasoning why I've been gone. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. I said that very weird. To follow me on my social media. My Instagram will be left here. And my I actually just created a make a makeup look. A makeup look. <laughs> a makeup Instagram right here. So you guys can also go follow that. I only posted once one time working on that because I'm very picky when it comes to those photos so I think that is it that is all so peace out